People often wonder whether there'll be a point where computers or machines become cleverer than a human. I mean, in some ways they already are. I mean, uh, my computer can do multiplication and division way better than I can. The question of overall cleverness is a difficult one because it making us think that intelligence is a specifically human thing, whereas I think that human intelligence is one way of being intelligent. We can answer simple questions like if you dangle a rat from its tail, is its nose or ears closer to the ground? I mean, even a child can answer that question because we have an intuitive image of what it's like. But that's the kind of question that will probably throw most current AI devices. So the big challenge for AI now is what people call general artificial intelligence. Can we develop systems that can solve problems from many different domains and can do so in a way that seems to obey the, the rules of common sense? The thing that's special and unusual about these robots is that they can predict the future. If you're walking down a pavement and you see a hole in the ground and you see someone who's about to fall into that hole, then it's likely that you'll intervene. Now, why is that? Well, it's not just because you're a good person, it's because you have the ability to predict the likelihood that you might be able to save them. So these robots have a simulation of themselves and each other, and we use that uh, in what we call a consequence engine to allow them to behave in a very simple, ethical way. When we make decisions, when we act in the world, when we perceive the world, we're doing it with and through our bodies too. Emotional responses and bodily responses are absolutely core to both consciousness and intelligence. And so far, artificial intelligence hasn't really incorporated bodies in this way. Already, we can build robots that look very human-like, but in fact are very little smarter than a washing machine. The brain-body mismatch problem. So we can make robots that look like people, we cannot make robots that behave like people, and I think that's an ethical problem. The question is, how much inspiration should we take from human behaviour? In many contexts, human intelligence is actually a bit rubbish. I mean, we make irrational decisions all the time. Uh, we're notoriously bad about really understanding the long-term consequences of actions or decisions we make. We look at society's response to things like climate change, it's really pathetic. Maybe we shouldn't be looking to replicate human intelligence in general AI. Maybe it's more of a complementary relationship that we should be seeking. How do you know if the machine you've built, you've just switched it on, is conscious or not? Now, if it's conscious, then you probably will feel very differently, for instance, about switching the machine off. And I think there's a, a more fundamental problem, which is the possibility of artificial suffering. The possibility that if you make a, uh, an even minimally conscious machine, then without really understanding why, it might experience suffering. I mean, suffering might be an emergent property of the self-awareness, of the consciousness itself. The ways in which computers will develop intelligent behaviour will, will not just replicate human level intelligence. Can the surprisingly effective, powerful artificial intelligence techniques that we now have move beyond the specific and operate in much more unpredictable, flexible, real-world, common-sense environments. That would be truly transformational.